So, um, <clears throat> this is just a quick discussion about uh, this lab. The idea here is that you build a Flask application that is um, an API that returns some data. Given some sort of query, takes that information in and returns something. So I thought that maybe it would be fun to um, take in a music artist and return some lyrics uh, and some songs and stuff. So I played around a little bit and I went to this website uh, called lyrics.com and you can search for different lyrics here i was looking at uh rod stewart or my friend was looking at rod stewart lyrics um and yeah so there's a whole bunch of rod stewart lyrics it seems as well as other artists so i thought i would maybe build a little uh guy to scrape the lyrics and um, we've seen some of these techniques before, but one of the things that you notice is that you can get um, like an artist link. If you just play around on the site a little bit, you can uh, find like the nature of the link structure. And um, so to, first I was just like on a page scraping the, um, trying to find the albums and the songs. Um, and that was pretty straightforward, like the albums are just in H3 tags and the songs are in these uh, TDs, uh, actually they're every other, every other TD because the, uh, it says the song and then it says how long it is um, as well. But uh, also in the song what you can do is you can get a link to the lyrics so then you just pop that link onto uh, the lyrics.com and you can get uh, to a new page that has like the links for, um, you know, Every Beat of My Heart by Rod Stewart or something like that. And here is the uh, lyrics of the song that I want. So once you get there all you have to do you have to just grab those um those links which is what i'm doing here um and then you can get it so this function basically this this function here it may look intimidating it's not very efficient and so part of it may be that you want to clean it up a little bit um this was just me hacking it hacking it out quickly but when you call it it will ask you uh this question who you're looking for who you looking for duder and you write in an answer and then I it creates a URL based on that poking around like if you s notice it like you can see that uh, the URL will go to artist and then the artist name um, and if there's more than one name like the beat nuts then it just adds this plus percent th this percent 20 in between those names so that's where I got this first part from. And then everything else is just playing around with uh, the HTML of the page. And what we get back is we should get back for given an artist um, a data frame that contains the uh, name of the song, how long it is, and the lyrics of it. And I tried it with a couple, like with Dokken, the wonderful power group from the 80s. And uh, sure enough, it seems to have worked there and then I tried it and, and so like this is it's returning a data frame so like the you know I mean I used it but I didn't um, save this so I can just actually save it as docking and then um, you see that I have a data frame here you can look at the head of it uh, and I tried it with a two-word uh, group called the beat nuts um, and it worked there too. So I'm pretty excited about that and I feel wonderful. But now the thing that you need to do is you need to turn this around and let somebody enter that name as a query, use this function and return the results um, through an API. That is your task.